Hello everyone and welcome to my Let's Play of Prince of Persia The Sands of Time. This is going to be the official first start of my Let's Play series uh, now that I'm down here and I'm moved and everything. Um, I hope it's going to be really great for you. This is one of my favorite games, Prince of Persia The Sands of Time, released on PC, Xbox, PlayStation 2, and GameCube way back in 2003, almost 10 years ago, which is crazy now that I think about it. But it's an awesome game, if you've never played it, uh, I highly recommend it. But if you haven't played it, if you want to check it out, uh, watch this. Don't turn it off. So basically what we do here is uh, we're going to be playing as the prince, um, going on a quest with his dagger that we haven't had yet. Um, but let's, uh, let's sneak into this little house to begin with. And we're going to check out this brief cutscene, and then we'll get into some of the action after that. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time. And I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men, we passed through India. And with a promise of honor and glory, tempted my father into a grievous error. Now, my son. And all right, um, just got launched off our horse through the wall. The game's gonna have it's kind of story narrative over the prince. He's gonna kind of tell the story, so I'll let you guys kind of listen in what he's talking about as well. Transformed from a good work into a hell. If you think so, you are mistaken. From that moment, I thought of one thing only: the honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in my first battle. Okay, gonna fight like a warrior in your first battle. Let's not. Act like those guys and get blown to smithereens by large catapults. So instead, we're gonna climb up here. Um, so like I was saying, this is an action adventure game, basic uh, 3D platforming, um, but it kind of has a uh, what do you say, like a an acrobatical type of feel to it. So this game's gonna have wall jumps, wall running, um, you know, swinging on other devices, pretty much death-defying leaps all over the place. Um, so essentially we're storming this castle, it's the Maharajas, he's got some pretty badass treasure that we're going to try to uh, get for ourselves, including the, uh, spoilers, the Sands of Time, which the game is aptly named after. Oh, that sucks. Sorry buddy, didn't mean to have you a pole in your stomach. So, sword attack. Alright, and here's our first battle with Spearman over here. Pretty certain I could take him out easily. Um, except it's gonna block all my things. Let's jump over top of him and slice him right. Not a bad way to take down a foe, I'd say. He's dead, he's dead right? Okay. So climb up the ladder. Continue on fighting all these pansies up here. What's going on, fellas? Hang out. Just wanna be one of the guys. Ah. Alright, that way is probably the best way to take out all those enemies. So after the combat is over, essentially this game tells you that it's over by putting your your items away for you. So, you know, I know that up in this up, next upcoming room there's not going to be anybody. Many men that day sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Khosro said to Rustam, You are the noblest of my warriors. From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing, 
but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. Okay, and so it seems that the prince doesn't even really want to care about killing, he just wants to get the treasure, so let's help him out in that regard. Uh, just jump down this little ledge and say hi to all these guys. What's going on? He's pretty lax about his whole security duties there. Didn't seem to bother too much that uh, I jumped down right beside him. So as you can see, you can fight multiple enemies at the same time. Um, if you're familiar with the Assassin's Creed series, I'm pretty sure. I mean, same developer Ubisoft. I think they borrowed a whole lot from the Prince of Persia series. I mean, they're doing that kind of like that real-time combat with multiple enemies. Okay, Jesus Christ. Let's not shoot uh, all the cannons at me, huh? Let's just uh, save some of those for later. I didn't do anything to you guys. Okay, and... Oh, yet again. Alright, so I don't want to jump down there. So we're going to just wall run... Once and twice. Climb up the ladder. I'm not using the keyboard. So please stop telling me. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Climbing up, hanging out, having a good time. What's going on in here? I'm gonna get some water. So essentially, water equals health in this game. So anytime you're in a pool, you just, you know, dip your ass down there and drink some of it. But the weird thing is. It's going to heal you from all kinds of uh, predicaments. So you get stabbed in the face, what's the cure? Water. I mean, I guess it really does the body good, a lot better than milk. So I'm going to keep on the lookout for little pools of water, bodies of water. Sometimes there are pools like that. Other times there's fountains. Just kind of, I'll take what I can get. It doesn't matter. Just dip my hands in and uh, see what's good. So these guys are really, really simple. Um, combat in this game is basically the same. Uh, hack and slash your way until there's nobody left. Um, the uh, Some of the bosses later, not bosses, uh, some of the enemies later prove more of a challenge. What am I doing? I want to climb this. There we go. Climb up and pull. I think I can do this. Is this a thing? Am I doing this right? I might not be doing this right at all. And no, I'm not. Okay, so... This is a lot easier, so instead of jumping from the that pillar there, uh, it's just a lot simpler to uh, just jump up on the side. People still shooting cannons at me. So, climbing along the ledge, you could jump down, drop down, um, or you can you know, get back up. Kind of makes it really easy for the, uh, the prince to get in this. Oh, and how convenient, they blew a hole in the side just for us. So let's go, oh, there's enemies in here, so let's get in here. Take care of these guys. And it shouldn't be too much of a problem, I'd say. Oh, uh oh. Alright. They're ganging up on me. They're ganging up. Oh. <laughs> kind of missed that wall jump there. Oh, speared him. You see that? Nice. I speared him with my dagger. Or with my sword. Well, he has a spear. Damn, shit is so meta. Alright, uh, need to get up top, so what I'm going to do is jump from here to here, and then jump from there to there, and finally jump onto the ledge up top. There we go, seems simple enough, huh? Shall I continue my story from here, the next time we're interrupted? Yes, you should continue their story from here. Uh, let's not save, we'll save a little bit later, are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I sure I don't want to save, but thanks for asking. Um, pool down there has water. I don't think I lost too much health. If I did, uh, I'm not really worried about as much. Um, this way. So combining wall runs with wall jumps, kind of a you know a little trick that the game does now. Um, we're gonna have to be using that a lot from now on. Uh, doing some different kinds of wall jumps right there. Climbing on up. Let's see what's inside the turret. And there it lay, just out of reach, the dagger of time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. Oh shit. If I could only get there. the dagger of time. Come on, Prince, you can get there. All you gotta do is just run and jump. That's pretty much all you ever done. It's right there. Can't get to it right now. Alright, let's find a way to get there. Alright. Wall run my way down here. And I don't wanna go down. There's nothing on the floor of this, I would say. Maybe. I don't really know. Screw it. I'm going. Let's go through this room. 
And here is our first um, kind of obstacle that is not, you know, an actual enemy. So we got little spikes, spinny spikes, uh, the spiky poles as the game likes to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and avoid those because the game tells me to. You know, if the game, if you know, I wasn't specifically told to avoid those, I'm pretty sure that we would just run right inside of them. Because who the hell doesn't like a spiky pole? Oh, that's a kind of a euphemism, isn't it? I'll have to watch for those as I continue along in this Let's Play. So, here I go. Basically, same old, same old. Jumping from pillar to pillar. Going to avoid the spiky poles. <laughs> Gonna do a wall run into a wall jump right here. Oh, almost didn't make that. Um, Gonna try to keep the deaths to a minimum in this run. This isn't a speed run or anything. It's just me playing. Alright. Um... Whoa. Yeah, I know, it's scary, it's scary, but, you know, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Okay, so this is actually kind of scary. I'm gonna make it, right? Okay, good. And... That's... that's a farther drop. Uh... Yeah, I'll go for it, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was actually pretty scared there for a second. <gasps> game's... the game's messing with me. Alright, up here... How convenient for the prince is, you know, this kind of turn of events. Um, you know, he's walking along, just so happens that the part of him in front of him breaks, the part of him on top of him breaks. Just really, uh, lucky, lucky guy right here. Jump back to the pole, and we're gonna look around. I kind of like how the uh, the game just does this kind of cinematic view, shows you what the room layout's like, shows you your objective. So you're not going to be too confused in these gigantic ass rooms. So you're not going to get lost in this game very much. It's pretty straightforward, um, you know, what your objective is and how you're supposed to get there. Because it will kind of take you through, you know, the entire, the entirety of the room. Just basically how you're going to, you know, work your way through it. So uh, as we saw, we're going to go up here, jump on the stone hand, oh, get up here. And nether stone hand. Let's jump up. Oh shit. Oh shit. Game didn't control like that before. Alright, there we go. And climb up this guy's head. Well jump my way up. Not too difficult. This guy's gotta work out so much. Damn. Okay. Here it is. Sad. Oh shit. And, haha, ha, you don't get crushed by the rock. Just make it go right on back up there. Alright. I had what I came for. It was time to get out. Now. I'll take that as a cue to get out. Yeah, sure. Uh, damn, look, like... Why are those all blood tipped down there when it was just covered with rocks and stone? I don't get it. Okay, oh, spiky pillars, spiky beams, spiky everything. Let's avoid that down here. Oh, oh shit. Okay, that was a little bit close for comfort, but yeah, I made it through. No shaved. Alright. Father, I have brought us honor and glory. <coughs> Your Majesty, you promised me my choice of the Maharaja's treasures. That dagger! Surely you won't deny the lad a souvenir of his first battle. You may have your choice of all the Maharaja's other treasures. Haha, ha, suck it, old man. Accept that hourglass. That will make a fine gift for the Sultan of Azad when we pass through his city. And some exotic animals for his menagerie. And a dozen slave girls. Yes, that should be enough. I want no animals or maidens harmed until I have chosen. Let it be known. King Sharaman is merciful. In oh, victory. you are so merciful. Oh, taking the babes. Trust 
not a man who has betrayed his master. Nor take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this to my sorrow, the day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend! My friend, your visit brings joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling. If only you'd given me time to prepare a proper welcome. The glories of Azad are famed throughout the world. And yet, the best is yet to come. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time itself. The sand, why does it glow? I can tell you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel that no living man has seen. What do you mean? You can see it right there. You can see through it. Alas, only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. A young prince, dearer to his father than all the wealth of India. Perhaps he will apply. Uh oh. Don't do it. Here it comes. No! Stop! That guy's a dick. Okay, so pretty much everyone's dead or a sand per person, except this girl. So, um, what the hell is her story? She's trapped. Alright. What's up, guys? Just wanna, wanna hang out? I got a sword and a dagger. It's ready for you. Alright, so essentially there's not gonna be any more, I don't think, anyways. Uh, of like the regular enemies, they're all gonna be like these mutated beasts from the sands of time. Uh, and to get rid of them, you can kill them, or you can't really kill them in the regular regard, you kind of, uh, you can knock them down, but when they're knocked down, you uh, stab with a dagger and they kind of disappear. So it makes everyone's life a little bit easier. I hate these bigger guys, they're kind of a bigger pain in the ass than everyone else. But. Each time I struck no them down, deal. they rose to fight again. I soon realized that only by taking into my own dagger the sands that possess them, could I liberate them from their monstrous I just told dead. the audience that. Just, just back off my toes, man. Seal my thunder. Alright. Uh, more bad guys. Same old, same old. There's only these two enemy types in this room right now, so it's kind of predictable what they're going to do. Get, I don't want to talk to No, there we go. Alright. I don't want to stab this guy. Well, I want to stab him. I just want to stab him later. Alright. So we got that. Okay. Stab. Kick. Jump up. And... Take him in my dagger. So again, you know, you're fighting multiple enemies at the same time. Oh, they can attack each other like we just saw. This guy's helping me out. Thanks, bro. Can I jump over top of you? Yeah, I can. Get him back in there and... Come on, I've got one more. There we go. And all taken care of. Oh, shiny. Hey, baby. Let's hang out together. You, you can tell me about how much you love me. No? Okay. 
Well, I'll just go hang out in this thing for a little while. Oh shit, hallucination. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, I do want to save. Um, thank you guys very much for watching the first episode. Episode 2 is going to be coming at you very shortly. Um, so stick around. Uh, let me know what you like. Uh, let me know what you hated about this, let me know what you liked about it. Um, I'll just, you know, follow me on Twitter, I guess. Uh, you know, talk to me. I don't care. Uh, thanks, guys. See ya.